it's kind of like in the Bible, it says that God will put you through a furnace and you'll come out like stainless steel in the end. If you don't have tribulation and you, and you stand for God, you must not be totally standing for him because that's where we're at. And how did Donald Trump make your life better? Oh, he gives me hope that someone will stand up for it. As the Bible also says, whenever there's times of great trouble and you're his people, that he will provide a leader. And I do believe that Trump is our leader that God has given us. It's kind of like Charleston Heston was called the American uh, Moses, and he was in charge of the NRA and did the in my dead hands will the guns be pulled? Yeah. yeah, and that was his famous statement. Yeah. And I seen where they had the Ten Commandments on public TV, and uh, public TV said Charleston Heston's the American uh, Moses. And I go, well, he was there, and now he's handing the baton to Trump. And Trump is our leader. Except that he's not. morals and yeah. standards. But even though Joe he's Biden goes... Joe Biden goes to church every Sunday. I'm not talking church. No, talking we were talking about the Bible. I am talking God in the Bible. Yeah. I'm not talking church. Some things get exaggerated, some don't. Yeah. What's reality? That's what we lost. How do you make judgments when you don't have reality and truth? Reality is what the MAGA movement absolutely has lost. If President Biden were to walk up to us right now, what would you say to the president? I'd say he's an illegitimate president, and I don't recognize him as my president. See, you I just never have. I never have. But you just said to me the problem is division and not seeing each other as fellow Americans, and you're saying I would t call you illegitimate. I would say that he was not. I just, the inner core of me did not believe it. There was too many things that didn't add up. When two plus two don't equal four, you got a problem. What didn't add up for you? Well, one of the things that doesn't add up, like when they shut down the voting and told everybody to go home. Oh, we're closing doors, we're closing doors. Well, they closed doors, all everybody goes home. Here's the camera going. And here we bring all these tubs out from underneath the table. Everybody's ready to do it. It's all pre-formed, it's pre-planned. But you know, the courts That's looked into the, 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 the courts looked at this and found absolutely nothing. But what explanation do you have for shutting down the voting unit? The counting and then, unit? And then bringing out tubs that are hidden under the table and counting them after you tell everybody to go home. Well, they were saying that that's, they were going home for the night and then coming back the next day. Yeah, what they didn't. They went in it right after everybody left the parking lot. They came in and started counting votes. You know, that may have been from that day's count. They investigated that and said it was totally normal and legitimate. i seen the video. There's no way that it looked like it was a legitimate vote. If, if um... Would, would you have public uh, precincts that you shut down and then everybody scurries in the back door off the alley and starts jamming ballots into the... Into well, I didn't... I don't, I don't know that that happened. The court well, said... I that know that... No, I didn't say it, but I'm saying yeah. that is the same type of a practice. What will you do if former President Trump were to lose again? Well... Depending on how honest of an election it looked like it was, if it was honest and run correctly, I would accept it. If it wasn't, I would not accept it. Okay. Thanks so much. Then maybe we'll have to make him king. Do we, would we want to go back to a monarchy? You don't know what's going to happen. Would you be, if they decided to go back to a monarchy and make Donald Trump the king, would you be okay with that? I would do that versus what we're at now. Yeah. With that, with the system being manipulated and corrupted it isn't a true democracy if you don't have legal justice for everybody you know are no longer a democracy that's the whole core of democracy and of course the loudest and the proudest freedom-loving patriots are all in favor of king trump get him in there and never let him leave again but he argues that quote a massive fraud of this type and magnitude allows for the termination of all rules and regulations and articles even those found in the constitution our great founders did not want, would not condone, false and fraudulent elections. And of course, the entire GOP, along with obviously the MAGA movement, is scrambling to make it seem as though everything that Donald Trump says is just a joke. It's entertainment. And, you know, you, we've been around uh, him long enough. It's entertaining. I think it was a joke. <laughs> I think that's probably just fairly uh, kind of uh, typical Trump rhetoric. We all know Trump 
uh, uses uh, unique expressions when he explains things. Sometimes a little baby will, will spout off all sorts of words that you don't take them either literally or seriously. And that's a bit of what we're seeing, I think, from President Trump and his campaign right now. <laughs> I mean, I mean, even Romney, who's no Trump fan, says that, you know, this is don't take him literally or seriously. A little bit of a repeat of what we saw at his time in office. But look, like after a while, the reality is, is that we're just dealing with a massive cult in this country. That, because, look, this nation has problems. You know, our education, healthcare being unaffordable, wages haven't kept up with inflation, inflation just being a general problem in all sectors of the economy, our infrastructure not being prepared or, or prepared or repaired for decades. The list goes on and on are the issues that we face. But at the end of the day, Republicans could just find another politician. You could just find another person to vote for. You could just find someone else to follow, not just someone, many other people. You could focus on the issues. You could focus on policy. But that's the issue. They're not focused on that. They're focused on Donald Trump. 